Hey everybody, Patty Kowalski. I'm here for my nightly presentation. Sorry I'm late. I actually had to go to the hairdressers today and get myself refurbished. So I'm a little late running behind. I already had a couple people text me saying, where are you? So let me go ahead and get myself pinned here. <clears throat> Hello, Miguel. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get ourselves ready. Hey, Tammy. How are you doing? Amber. Hey, Judy. How are you feeling there, lovey? You come? Let's get some rose water on this face. How are you doing, Miss Tammy? I feel like I need more light on in here. There we go. How are we, Miss Judy? Marcy Stoltz, how are ya? Amber, my lovey, how are you? How are you? I've missed you. I haven't talked to you at all today. All right, let's get some of the instant uplift off onto this mug. You're nervous? You're going to be fine, Judy. I promise you. <gasps> Thank you, honey. Hi, Tony. Amber always does. My Amber, my hairdresser Amber, not my Amber Amber that's on the team. My Amber is one heck of a um, hairstylist. Aw. Tammy, you're too good. Hey, Angela. Hey, Bridget. Yeah, she's, she's, fun. she's like fantastic. I wouldn't go to anybody but her. I'm doing great, Tony. How are you doing? My Angela, how are you? Let's put some nighttime correcting cream on this mug because we all know moisture is a good thing. It keeps gravity at bay. It really does. So what did you guys do today? And everybody work or do we have a day off or because some different people have different schedules. You're fine, good, good. Knee is so much better. Good, Bridget. Now let's see if we can do that. There's a zoom at nine. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I have an interview tomorrow, so if I go on, I'm not gonna be staying on long, unfortunately. My husband's made me promise me that I keep it like at a minimum tonight so I get some rest. Hello, Ms. Terry. Yeah, I know. But are you too? Oh, why did you do that, Judy? You never YouTube that. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. How are you? I worked. Well, you should have just worked and not YouTubed. Okay, Judy? Silly girl. She's going to be fine. My Judy's going to be just fine. I've already sent at least 10 prayers for her, and she's got a bazillion more coming her way. It's all going to be just fine. All right, I'm bringing some primer under my hand. Hello, Miss September. I'm going to get my hair out of the way. I may end up having to hold it back. I'm doing awesome, Terry. How are you doing? I take care of a 97-year-old four days a week. Ooh, that, that's something. Hi, Lisa Ann. Wow. Well, you know what? Some of the most with it people I've ever met have been some of the elderly that I've taken care of. When I worked at one of the ERs that I worked at, we had a 104-year-old that came in that fell because she was tipping the old bottle. And she thought that we were going to condemn her, condemn her for that. I'm like, you're 104. You can do whatever the heck you want to do. Hey, Elizabeth. I look at it this way. If you've been around long enough to reach 104, you can do whatever you dang well please. As long as you're not hurting somebody. My, my son looks everything up. He ends up, he ends up dead by the time he's done. I'm sure. He's probably got like 9 million different. Hey, Mary. Um. Nine di different um, medical things that he finds wrong. 
I know and tell people all the time I'm not good at what practicing what I preach. That oh, that sounds like a typical medical provider like um any other that I know. You sound pretty normal to me, Judy. Yes, September. I'm not kidding. She came in because she fell and she ended up with a bloody nose. That was it. So we stuck a um a tamponade up her nose and made it fine. Why thank you. That would be my Amber, my hairdresser who did that. She owns Monroe Studios in Rochester, New Hampshire, and she is the bomb diggity. I'm just saying. I would not go to anybody but her. She's worth every flippin' penny I pay for. And I always give her lots of treats because she deserves them. Hello, Miss Ashley. We're going to put a little eye primer on now, too. Thank you, September. She's got an infrared hair straightener. And I want to get one. It like, super expensive. But I can get it at her cost because she's one of my good friends. So I may end up eventually getting one. Miss Gabbett! Miss Gabbett, you may be getting a phone call. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, I'm going on an interview for an ER. So, you may be getting a phone call, Miss Karen. All right, let's get our, our uh, foundation going here. Thank you, Miss Ashley. I'm glad you can share. Oh, speaking of which, for anybody that's on here that I normally share for, um, my sharing privileges are under arrest <laughs> till the 17th which is pretty sucky. What time? At 11 o'clock tomorrow, Miss Ashley. 11 o'clock. Oh, absolutely, Karen. Absolutely. I would rather it be with you, Karen, but unfortunately, we both know that it's not going to work, so I'm okay with that. That is ridiculous. What's ridiculous? PRH, the Seabrook one. Interview for what? I didn't get it. Uh, it's an ER nurse position, Mary. I'm going. I'm going to try to go back. Bailey had her first CrossFit session today. Oh, geez. Yes, I was a bad shearer. I uh, same thing happened to me that happened to Lisa. What? Karen. Oh, you mean that? Okay, you mean that you wish that I was coming there. <laughs> I thought you were going saying that you were going to go there. I was all excited there for a minute. Yes, I know. They threw me in jail, Mary. Because I shared for too many of my down leads <laughs> and my up leads. Um, if you share too much, Karen, you get in trouble, which is stupid. But... It is what it is. On the 17th, I can start sharing again. Because um, Mark Zuckerberg, or Efferberg, is what we like to call him. I know. Well, we both know that the, the others don't agree with you, so we're going to take it elsewhere. All right. I didn't get to the vet until 4.30, so she came with me to the 5 p.m. She did she did her, her, her burpees. <laughs> yes, it is stupid, Karen. Totally is. No, it's the group managers who mark it as abuse. Okay, well, then I pissed somebody off in one of the groups. Zucker jerk. Yeah, that's, that's what we like to call him. Um, iridescent. We're going to add a little bit of that. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to share my peeps that I love to share because they're so phenomenal. What would you... Um, probably an hour because it's 45 minutes to PRH and it's 15, 10 to 15 minutes on top of that for Seabrook. I'm hoping I can find some back roots. I don't even know. I may not even get it. But how do they notify? They send you um, an email thingy telling her that you, telling you that you're um, restricted. 
Yeah, they mark it as spamming. It's usually that somebody gets ticked off because someone is jealous of whoever I'm sharing. Hey, Robin. How could anyone be mad at my patty? She's so nice. Oh, I don't know. I tick off a few people here and there. Oh, yeah. Far from perfect, I am. But it's all been in innocence. You can take route one, but it's the long way. Yeah, I know. PRH is... Get out of town. Karen, if that's the case, I'll transfer. I'll try to get the job and then transfer. Oh, my God. How is Dover letting that happen? Holy crap. That must have ticked them off something fierce. Wow. Yeah, haters going to hate. You betcha, Tammy. It's all good. I, you know, I'm not losing sleep over it. My girls are good enough to stand on their own. They don't need me sharing for them. People are talking about leaving for it. <laughs> Gee, I can't understand why. Wow. Hey, Shauna. I know. I know. It's opening in December. Oh, my God. Yeah, I will be talking to um, the Seabrook manager about that. That is awesome. Like they didn't sweat enough when convenient MD went down the street. Well, you know what? If they treated their people better, they wouldn't be in that predicament now, would they? Shauna, how are you, my friend? It's all good. Like I said, we'll see how the chips fall. We will see. can hear my dogs in the background because I didn't have the heart to put them to bed. I was able to share to most groups. Mary, thank you. I have to try to get through this tonight because I have to try to get things all set for the morning. This is a little more of a competition, a true ER. Admits will go to Portsmouth. Well, they are a level two trauma, so yeah. I mean, you know that yourself, Karen, with your experience. As awesome as you guys are, if it's one step above, it's one step above. And that's why even the Seabrook one has done so well. That's a brand new ER. It's only been open like a year, and... They take care of all of the overflow that's on that from 95, all the uh, things. Ha, huh. yeah, Michael, well about that. <laughs> they wanted to cuddle, so I let them on the couch, Michael. Hey, Sherry. Thank you, Terry. Thanks, Tammy. I'm just trying to get all the crevices here. Blot, 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 blot. I still have some color left on the frame of my face. Hi, Melissa. So how's everybody's beginning of the week been? My husband is a transporter for our ER. Well, that's good. Most of the hospitals have a separate whole department, not just ER. The smaller units usually end up having transporters in the ER. Honestly, back in the day when I worked at Wentworth, we had transporters, but if we couldn't wait for them, our, C our um, LNAs would bring them up, our ED techs. My week has been okay so far. That's good. All right, remember guys, do a little bit over your ears just in case you get hot throughout the day and you're gonna whip that hair up. You definitely want to make sure that you don't have any lines of demarcation. 
just lightly buff over the neck. Now this part we do swish on like you would a wall that you're painting, but the rest you blot because you want it to look like skin. So far so good, but it's only Tuesday. I know, but tomorrow's hump day. Yeah, that's the best part about it. Mm-hmm. Mine's great knowing that it's a short one. Tomorrow is your Friday. Ooh, Marcy. That's pretty good. With the kids? How did you pull that one off? Short one for me. Kate. Oh, Caitlin's baby shower. <gasps> what does she need for the baby? I would love to send you something, Karen. Or when we meet for lunch, I could give it to you then. What, send me a message of what she has on her list that she hasn't gotten yet. Maybe I can make her up a baby comforter. Wet and kind of quiet, waiting for the rain to do what it's going to do. Yeah, I hear you. Hi, Kathy, and thank you for sharing. I love you too, Karen. I'm so excited for them. They're going to be awesome parents. My niece's wedding is Saturday, so off Thursday, Friday and to get ready. That's awesome, Marcy. You guys have some pretty phenomenal plans coming up. All right, let's use chenille for our contouring, okay? The small things, lotion. What brand is she using? Is she using anything particular? Because sometimes, some of these moms want particulars. Endocrinology Thursday. He called over my labs and increased my insulin to 60 units. Oh, so your, your um, HGBA1C must not have been fantastic there, Miss Tammy. I'm sure he'll fuss too. That's his job. I would be kind of concerned if he didn't fuss. You're just going to have to be baby organics. Is that something you get online, Karen? Because I've never heard of that. Read up. When you said hi, Sherry, Siri came on and said, I'm listening. <laughs> That's awesome, Mary. Oh, my God. Hey, Crystal. That is perfect. I will Google it, Karen, to see where they sell it. Okay, but I would, would love to do that. Hi, Carrie. We're just doing the frame on my face. All right, let me get my blending brush here. Oh my God, Karen, I am wholeheartedly agreeing. I can't, I can't wait to see it. It's been way too long, I'm dropping everything on the ground. All right, um, 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 I need some beachfront bronze and we're going to use sunset tonight i know that would be really awesome to be celebrating just to know that i'm giving my husband a break and he's not working himself to death because he's covering both of us say a prayer for me i found a house for rent literally walking distance from my mom <gasps> amber definitely i will definitely say a prayer oh my god that would be so awesome amber and it's in your price range Oh, call me after Amber, please. That is so exciting. Oh, Amber, that makes me so happy. So, so happy. Sherry, how are you? Yeah. No praying. It's in my price range. Well, we, st we still need to pray for you. That you get it. You want every mark of positive energy you can get coming your way. You deserve it. Hey, hey, how am I tonight? I'm awesome, Crystal. How are you? Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, thank you. 
I feel all freshened up. I went to go see my hairdresser and she re-beautified me. All right, let's just make sure we don't have any lines. No lines allowed. Get that nice cut. All right, I'm gonna use some of my light um, duo stick for highlight. Okay, you guys start thinking of colors. Thank you, Sherry. Think of uh, eye colors that you guys want. What look will you have for the interview? Oh God, no, I do very sedate, very sedate, very business-like whenever I do my interviews. It's usually one color that I put on my eyes. Um, I usually skip the dip and draw. I use a very neutral palette. Orange and black. I could do orange and purple. So we get an orange and black, an orange and purple, a brown and gold. All right, where's my blending? My allergies are in full force in my eyes. Oh, I believe it. It's all the pollen stuff that's coming out. Like for us, we have um, goldenrod. Oh, that stuff is torture. Torture, I tell you. Can hear my puppies playing. Ooh, pink and silver. That sounds really pretty. I'm just lightly dabbing. Brown and gold. I just did brown and gold, though. Um, I could do brown and gold for an interview. You were going to say burgundy and silver. Well, I would have to use some of the splurge if we did that. I had headaches all day long. I believe it, Carrie. It's the dang change in the season. My bees love the goldenrod. They can have it, Karen. Tell them to come to my house. It's, it's free. <laughs> Uh, that stuff kills me. Oh my God. My nose will get totally filled up. I will sound like Fran Drescher. Someone else that was on here the other day said I sounded like Fran Drescher. Oh, I would totally be Fran Drescher. Or that, um, what's her name that used to be on laughing? One ringy dingy, two ringy dingy. Yours too, Tammy. The last boost of pollen before winter. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that boost of pollen because that boost of pollen, that and then the fresh br uh, buds of the trees, as gorgeous as it is, knowing that they're going to bloom. Oh my goodness. Just not to kill you. Good. Send them over, Karen. I would, well, though, they would, might have a little bit of a fit because Rachel, two houses down, has got bees too. So hers actually got broken into by a bear. Wiped out all her hives because it was trying to get to the honey, I guess. So she finally smartened up and put an electric fence around it. You talk like frogs in your throat. Ooh. We have smoke out here. It's awful. Oh, where do you live, Tony? My daughter lives in Montana, and they've had some awful fires. I need bees that keep, keep it under control. Yeah, I would love that. I'm afraid they'd sting my husband, though. You're getting so much rain. Yes, my poor little sister's nose keeps bleeding. Oh, you guys are going so fast. California Bay Area. Yep, that's where the fires are. My sinuses have turned into an upper respiratory. Sometimes I feel like I'm dying. Oh, September. The Bay Area. Hey, Brenda. How are you, sweetheart? Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's get some blush on. Hi, Janet. Miss Brenda Harris Bingham, how are you? Janet. Haven't had a, a thing from them dinging me to let me know that it's en route yet, so I will contact you. As soon as I get that text, I will call, well, I'll text all of you and let you know that it's on its way to me for all your 
mission accomplished. Doing fine watching Bambi. Oh, that's one of my favorites. I love Bambi and Thumper. Love the makeup lessons, but the chat is great after a long day. Oh, yeah, totally. I look, no, it's the makeup. <laughs> you have to go to the gym to actually lose weight. I've only consistently been going three times a week. You're looking forward to it. Ooh, almost dropped it on the floor. That would have been bad. All right, so we talking... Oh, no, Bambi's not sad. There's one sad part, but then it gets good. She does too. So do I. Wait a minute, I missed it. You think, what, Brenda, do you think I look like I'm losing weight? I'm honestly not. If anything, things might be shifting because I lift weights. So, are we, oh, you think it's too sad. Okay. Um, so, you guys thinking pink and silver? Or is that what you're thinking? I would do the brown, but we just did brown and gold the other day. Do you have any tanning lotion left? I'm going to have a breakdown. I'm completely out. Um, I might, actually. Let me check. Burgundy and silver. Ooh, that sounds really pretty. Yeah, let's do burgundy and silver. We'll, we'll do burgundy and silver. All right, let's use um, seductive. The pink and silver. Well, the, the burgundy's kind of like that. Sissy loves B&B and so do I, is what, is what I meant to say. Ah, okay. Hello, Miss Elizabeth, how are you? Sounds very fall. Mm -hmm. Fall is almost here. I know you don't want to hear that, Karen, because the W is your most hated word. It means long underwear and um, David or somebody driving you to and from work. <laughs> I remember. You like my music. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking maybe palette one silver but um actually no I would probably do fours silver if I did silver the brilliant and there's actually the other deeper burgundy from the beloved palette no I know I no that's true you don't like Christmas as far as Bailey, no update. They sent her blood work out. Nothing showed in her ultrasound. Well, that's positive. Maybe she just ate too many dang apples, Ashley. Her dogs, she's got apple trees in the backyard. So her dogs feel like it's Christmas every day because they go out and they eat all the apples. And Bailey's been like cowering in a corner, which is her lab. Might have to get over that. Yes, yes, you will. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you know what? You're, you're going to love that because it's a different feeling and your, your purchases are thought differently. I became the close Nana. I don't even do the toys. I became the close Nana. And I, my, gar, my granddaughter loves it. She won't even let Michelle pick clothes out for her half the time. She says Nana's going to get my clothes. see we will see I will love it when I do see though <laughs> all right let me get some colors out here how do you get for silver to not look blue I have a problem with it on palette four really No, I, um, now, if you're talking about the new silver, then yeah, I would agree with you, but I don't know. I've never had that problem. Maybe it's because what you're using underneath it. C, 
See, I think that trusting is the true silver. See, listen to Tammy. I still have the Xmas tea you bought me. You do? That's too funny. Oh, well, that's okay. I still have the um, the lobster cheese, and we use the cutting board all the time because I don't. I hate bringing out a big cutting board, so it works both ways. All right, so we're gonna use a lot of the colors from the Behold palette. Okay. What we're gonna do? Everyone at work makes me wear it. <laughs> Oh, I hope it brings you happy memories of me. Um, I need Bridget because she's my go-to to go ahead and look up the Behold and tell me what, because I never remember what these are. One of them's tr trusting, I want to say. But I want to use these two colors with the silver. Okay, but I need you, Bridget, are you still there? Or Mary, Mary could do this too. I need you to look up the Beho the Beloved palette from February. I should just write these colors down because I use them all the time. And then people ask me, what are you putting on? I'm like, I don't know. Yes. All right. Can you do that for me, Bridget? It's the lightest pink. No, it's the... Ooh, I could have broke that. Um, it's the next one. It's not the sparkly pink. It's the next one up from it. And this is the medium. I want to say this is alluring. But let's start putting that on. Thank you, Crystal. It's going to be beautiful with the silver. Tammy, yes, my grandbabies change your world. I've had Mariah since she was two months old, so Mama could go. I'm assuming that says back to work, Brenda, because it won't let me look. I watched Aubrey quite a bit when, because um, Aubrey and Michelle lived with me for the first four years. So I used to watch Aubrey all the time. She loves to come stay with Michael and I. There's only one problem. I need to get another bed in here. So she ends up sleeping in between us. So it's alluring. And what's this one here? Is it trusting? What's the, the, it is adored. Okay. So this is adored. This is alluring. We're doing adored right now. It's okay, Mary. I get my first granddaughter in November. I'm so excited. You should be. You should be. They're so much fun. Ashley, I swear, is going to have my, my grandson. She'll be the one who has my boy. Which will be perfect because her and Greg will be out fishing with him. But even if it was a girl, they'd be out fishing with him. I know it's amazing. I love it. I have Ophelia three days a week. We'll have to divide time. That time with, with Kenna. Is that what her name's going to be? Kenna? That's beautiful. What a pretty name. I love it. Hello, Miss Teresa. We have a commercial on. Okay. All right. Let's clean this and we're going to go into alluring. My Lily is eight and Henry is three. How fun. Kenna Nicole and she's due Halloween. You like Halloween. That's one of your, your favorites, isn't it, Karen? You've always liked Halloween. So this is adored. Going on the outside here. This is the cranberry, and then we're going to go into silver. My granddaughter's name is going to be Cam Cameron. Oh, that's a neat way to spell it. Cameron Bailey. Karen, you're not going to do to know what to do with yourself. You're going to have so much overflowing love. You're going to be like, oh my goodness. I can see it now. So I deposited the bulk here. We'll go down into a C and we're going above my crease line. And then we're going to come in here with that silver and we're going to do the halo. 
You guys have seen me do the halo before. It really makes it pop. Isn't it beautiful? I love that. That is so different. I think that's more f feminine than the regular Cameron name that, like Cameron Diaz, Diaz. I think that this is even prettier with a K. Hi, Angelina. How are you? Oh, you know what, Bridget? You are so awesome. Bridget spoils me to death. She's one of my most favorite people. I get the cutest messages from her. She's so good to me. Thank you so much. It is pretty that way. I love it. It's so ingenuitive. And it's so feminine, I think. The K, it's something about the K being there instead of the C. I love it. All right. I think that's enough punch of the cranberry. And then what I'm going to do, Bridget, is I'm going to take stickers and put them on the back of these bad boys. I don't know why they never didn't. Like, these all have stickers. The ones from the palettes, they leave blank. I really wish they had done the stickers because it would have been better, I think. It's just me. All right, we're going to switch to my sponge brush because I think that that does the halos really nice. Okay. Back. Welcome back. Spraying my hand with some rose water. We are going to take a sponge brush and we're just dabbing it, okay? You don't want to saturate it, we're just dabbing it. And that's going to really make this silver pop. Thank you, Amber. And this is trusting. I'm going to do a halo. I'm waiting on the day to be a grandma. My son is 36. No, no. Um, Carrie, you know what? Karen's kids swore that they were never going to get married and they were never going to have kids. And Karen's getting ready to have her second grandchild. So don't give up hope. Am I right, Karen? They just need to find the perfect other. I also have a two and a half year old grandson. He is going to be a great big brother. I bet he will. It's amazing how loving they can be. Tori, you have five grandkids. Are they boys, girls, what? Oh, we're definitely doing the metallic dip and draw with this bad boy. Yes, we are. Yep. Two years ago, I thought I would never have grandchildren. Now they're throwing them at me. See, I told Karen, I told you this was going to happen. And you're like, nah, you don't know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Ha. Patty was right. I told you all they had to do was find the right one. And then everybody wants to procreate. All right, just dab that on just a little bit. My son had two girls, one boy, daughter, and the daughter had a boy and a girl. That is awesome. Tony, that is awesome. My son and daughter-in-law did not have their daughter until he was 33. See? Nothing wrong with that. Yes, ma'am, Miss Marcy. Being a Nana is the best. It's indescribable. You cannot describe it. You have to go through it yourself. 
If I could have been a grandparent before I was a parent, I'll tell you what, it would have been dangerous because I probably would have had a bunch. They, my dogs are racing around out there. They're having a grand old time because mommy is behind closed doors. I can hear them racing, chasing each other. Um, I have five grandsons and three granddaughters. My God, Brenda, you're a busy woman. I know you're Brid Bridget. Your nephews are amazing. Almost dropped it. She's 19 months old now. This generation must be totally different than our generation. They are. Um, you know, I I didn't get married. I got married early, but and had my kids early. Hey, Bianca. But I ended up um, starting right away. Where kids nowadays, they wait later, which is nothing wrong with that. Yes, all the time. I bet. I bet. Oh my God, they're out there like barking up a storm. Up a storm. I just want to add a little bit. Guys, quiet. I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of that trusting right up here. Just a little. Ooh, it stopped. My grandson's name is Roy Marshall Russell the Fourth. We call him. I would hope you'd call him R.J. My goodness, that's a, a mouthful, but a beautiful name. You had your son at 40. Thank you, Bridget. You have 11 grandkids, six girls, five boys, and three girls. Oh, my goodness, Kathy. That's crazy. I wish I could see them puppies. They are so funny. Oh, you don't want to see them. Maybe I'll let them come in here at the last minute. I'll, I'll bring them all up. All right. Um, and I only... Oh, my goodness. Kathy, you had a busy child. <laughs> Good Lord. That's amazing. I'm surprised my dogs isn't hearing them. My chihuahua will hear Harper and she becomes alert. Well, I have, they're not like, they're way on the other side. They're in the kitchen. Did a lot of bending, but the black turned out, oh, a lot of blending. That's great, Bridget. That's great. All right, let's do some dip and draw. I was gonna do black, but I really wanna do our our uh, metallic. Just ordered more of this too. My daughter is 23 and son is 11. You still got time. Josh will be 11 in January. I have a while to wait for grandkids. God, I hope so. Your dog hears my dogs. <laughs> I'm surprised. They're actually being pretty good. I don't even want to see what they're doing out there. They're probably destroying my kitchen in my living room. I always told Jimmy I want a grandchild before I become half crippled with arthritis. <laughs> I hear you. Can you get the purple dip and draw? No, you cannot. That was a special edition and they have not come back out with it yet, which I wish they would because eventually mine's going to dry up. All right, this one we're using is called Patronized and it is fitting for today since it's 9-11 and it is like a ready metallic. Thanks, Karen. Is the August Kudo still, as far as I know, Marcy, it still is. Jimmy said he wasn't getting married any, anymore. He said it would be unwed. That's okay, Carrie. I mean, it, I know in a lot of person's eyes it's not, but as long as they're happy. I was watching a gal and she said it was. I don't know, though. Hey, Taylor. I know. 
You know, every time I we hit this date, I have like PTSD because my kids were home alone and I was in, um, it was actually pre-med. I was still in pre-med at that time. I hadn't switched to nursing. And I was working as a C, an LNA in Massachusetts and my husband was working as an LPN. Same thing, Massachusetts. And all this is going on in New York and we don't know if it was like the end of the world or what it was. What's it under? It should be underneath the kudos. I was in high school during 9-11, watched the coverage in all my classes. Well, I was in a nursing home and couldn't leave. Hi, Miss Taylor. How are you? Give me two seconds. It's just, it's easy for me to pull it up. I will tell you in two seconds whether, oh, you got it? So we still have it. It's still under the kudos. No. So it's got to be underneath the collections. They must have moved it to that. I sets, brush sets. All right, really? Did you? I remember thinking it could not be real, and then it was. I know, Karen, I was just crying hysterically because I couldn't get to my kids. I was on my way to the doctor's office to be released from walking pneumonia so I could get back to work. You were in elementary school taking a math test. Oh, this is also depressing. Can we change the, the subject? Oh, my God. I'm going to cry in like two seconds. Defend innocence. Yes, it's still there. $61. All the proce proceeds go to... Education to prevent ch uh, child sexual abuse. Thank you, Taylor. And I've been wonderful. Other than my tata still, my, my dupa hurting still from my fall. Let me put the music back on. Yes, thank you, Carrie. Makes me very sad. Very sad. All right, come on. Here we go. Back to talking about my accent. There you go. That's enough subject. I'm sorry guys, I cannot look up when I'm doing this. Oh no, glad you're okay. Oh, I'm fine. I uh, hurt my pride more than anything else. You love my accent? <laughs> well, it depends on who you talk to because a lot of people will say that others have accents. Now they're just being obnoxious. That color with your hair looks amazingly, amazing, honest, I love it. Well, thank you. Can I, oh, I, I totally know who's barking. It was Elijah and then uh, Summer and then Finney piped in. They to I totally know each and every one of the, their, their barks for sure. And Summer is the biggest instigator to get them barking. And she looks sweet and innocent so you would never believe it ever. All right, now, so we can make these eyes pop, we're gonna put a blue on the waterline. My chihuahua can wake the dead. I bet she can, or well, he can. My poor Shiloh is going in to have his kahungas taken off on Friday. I gotta take him to North Conway. 
to the, the spay neuter specialist. And then um, he's getting his rabies shot too. Which my husband will be elated because I have not allowed him to take the puppy to the um, CrossFit gym. I won't let him out anywhere until he has his rabies. But it's so inexpensive to have them do it. So I absolutely love your dogs. I want another dog. <laughs> oh, there's something. There's something. All right. Let's get my eyeliner pencil. I mean, tool. And we're going to do the under eye with the cranberry. Have two dogs and parrot all three at the same time. Oh, Lord. Yeah. If they get squawking at the same time, because especially if the parrot starts mimicking, oh, yeah, you're in trouble. Look at how pretty that looks. Does that not look pretty? I love it. You got the blue that's making everything else pop and the pink cranberry that goes right into the other. Thank you, Karen. Thanks, Bridget. Thank you, Mary. Let's go ahead and I'll put a little black, or actually let's do navy in my tight line. It takes two people, my chihuahua sage, my dachshund is good till I get half to the vet. She go, the vet, she goes right, that's all I got. Have to take Bonnie for a walk. Let me know how your interview goes. Absolutely, I'll text you, Karen. Thanks for coming by. Becky, how are you? Sorry, I'm searching for one of my colors here. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to use um, Precarious on the upper. You're welcome, Karen. Thank you. Does your dogs know the vet? No, they don't go to the vets often enough. Um, I don't, I'm not one who believes in doing a lot of vaccinations. I think it actually hurts them. It's been proven that if you do a titer on your dog for um, the distemper, after the second series of distemper, they're actually therapeutically safe after that. So I only do, I'll, I only allow them to have two. They, I don't board them, and it's been proven that the kennel cough doesn't work anyhow. So it's not going to prevent another dog from getting kennel cough. Which blue did you use on the lower? I used presumptuous. Presumptuous here, precarious up there. All right. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Let's do our brows. We're going to use the Brow Obsession palette because that's still our kudos. This is the Brow Obsession palette. I absolutely love it. It makes my job so much easier to put my brows on. And the first thing you can tell about an aging woman is fading brows. They're thinned out. They're light. Some have gray. The best way to rectify that so nobody can tell is to use something like this. This has both a wax and a color. This particular one is brunette. It comes in blonde, brunette, and dark brown slash black on this. And I mostly use this one here, as you can tell, because it's been dug into the wax. And once in a while, I'll use this to clean up. This is more for like a lighter tone, and this is to highlight. Oh, 
All right, we always start at top of the shaft and work our way down because it should be darkest in the outer aspect and just drag it up. My vet, my vet doctor trying to tell me every three years for for the distemper after my poodle, I had told myself never again. Well, and I have to be careful because if you don't have a vet that's knowledgeable, the um, the lepto that's in the distemper shot will kill a dachshund. Most dachshunds are allergic to it. So, yep, I only do two of those and without the lepto and the second one. My friend is a burrito, she'll give the first one, I give the second one, and then after that, um, they get the rabies at the first year, then they get their booster at three years, and then every three years after that. But that's all they get. I don't do limes either because I use the Advantix too, and that takes care of, um, it kills mosquitoes, it kills um, ticks, fleas, like they always want me to do um, a stool sample and I'm like no I'm not doing they have formed stools I feed them exceptionally well I don't let them ooh, that was way too low I don't let them out to just take off and do their own thing so yeah My poodle died from the virus going around in the 80s. I believe it. I don't even go to dog parks. We may take them hiking when we used to go hiking, especially in my lab, but she's too old now. I don't think she could handle it. I'm trying to do my brows a little different tonight. My girls will bark at the dogs. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and add... I know you do, Bridget. You've wanted a dog for a while. I'm gonna clean this up and we're gonna use Timid, my one of my press shadows to fade this out just a little bit. Hey Jess, Beagle, you want a Beagle and name him Snoopy. <laughs> you and nine million other people. That's what a lot of be Beagle owners will name their, their dog as Snoopy. Because of Charlie Brown. Okay, let's go ahead and spoolie these out. Get a basset hound. Yeah, basset hounds are great too. But they have back problems, disc problems, just like the doxies do, so you have to be really careful. All right, let's talk about some lips here. 
We are going to use the Crushed Kiss. And I'm going bold as usual. I don't want to do curvaceous though. We did that the other day. We're going to use this one. We are going to use Captivate, I think it is. Oh, this thing is filthy. Hey, Tracy. Captivating. But let's go ahead and get my usual, I always put on a stain when I do this. It's sensational maybe? Thank you, Tracy. That's too red red. I want a pinky red. I think sucker punched. I am on the live chat with everyone missing you. Oh, I'm sorry. I will go fast. I'm almost done. I'm almost done and then I'll hop on. I'm so sorry, guys. You know me. I get jabbering. All right. We're going to outline with um, Posh. Let me get my mirror. Okay, Amber, that's the, the you have to go to um, the U Crew page, so you can go on, that. that's what you have to go on, it's the group meeting. I'm surprised you didn't get a, a message from Lise. So as soon as we're done, Amber, I want you to go to the U Crew. you can even do it now if you want, and then all you do is look where it says Zoom meeting and then bring it up and click on the link and it will let you go into the meeting. We talk about different things in there about business and any ideas people have, things like that. If something ever happens to Charles, which hope not want grow old with me, I decided to foster care. I think foster care, I, I can't see it, it won't let me. Yes, it's the Zoom meeting. Go to the U Crew. Look on the printout. It's going to tell you, it's going to say Zoom meeting. And you will see a, a highlighted area. Click on it and it will go in. Monty's going to tag you. Okay. Let's get that dried. This is sucker punched. And then we're going to use captivating. Thank you, Carrie. Oh, no problem. I'll be in shortly. Mmm, I need to do a detoxifying mask. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tammy. I look even better once I get my mascara on. All right. Let's get some mascara on. I am using the regular Epic. We'll put some shimmer on afterwards. I got to get Selena a bottle first. Okay.
Thank you, Teresa. Jen Johnson's in the house. There's my Kelly daughter. Your sister's name is Selena? That's a pretty name. That's um, Amber's daughter's name, I think. Aw, thank you, Amber. This is regular epic, yep. I like to bounce between the three of them. Yes, just spelled differently. Jen, that's one of our crush lipsticks. It's captivating. It goes from a powder and it has molecules that burst on your lips and becomes a cream on your lips. Well, that must get confusing. Good God, my kids' names are totally different, and I still screw them up. I finally just say, you, over there, come here. I totally, totally would screw up their names if I hit them that close. I would. You laugh. Ask Ashley. She'll tell you. Oh, good God, I just blobbed. I have to use a spoolie. Can't begin to tell you how much I love Epic. Love it. Love it. Love it. How many Epic lovers do we have out there? I want to see some hearts for all the Epic lovers we have. Flood that scream if you love Epic. How can you not? Yeah, baby. It's the best. Mm-hmm. Amen, sister. Best thing that's been created since ice cream. Okay, let's get some shimmer on these cheeks, a little behold. I had to end it at the hearts because the see more I can't see because the stupid thing with the emojis. Love my epic, oh my God, for real. I know, I know, trust me. 
I'm just as in love as you are, girly. All right, let me just put a little bit of shimmer on. I don't, I know, don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, epic for me. Absolutely. All right, where the heck is my, here is my iridescent, my iridescent. This is the white shimmer. I go up the cheek all the way around the eye, guys. Face bling. You betcha. Let that fan just kiss your face. There we go. A little bit on bowline. Just a touch on the nose and down. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah, they yeah. The dogs hear a car and it's not even here. It's going down the street. My goodness. All right, we're gonna seal this look with the Behold Setting Spray. And this will keep this look going for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Love it. Love it. Need to work on highlighting my bra, my bow. You mean you, your bow you mean, or bow? Very pretty. I always love it when your eyes match your shirt. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Thanks, Sherry. All right, my friends and foes. Fabulous. Sounds like my house. I know. Seriously, the dogs. The dogs, the dogs, the dogs. I love you guys to pieces. I am honored that you spent today with me. Your lip bow. That's what I figured you were talking about, Bridget. Thank you so much for coming to see me. Please come back again. You're always welcome in my home. And I so enjoy you spending time with me. I love us just chit-chatting and having a grand old time. I will be back on tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Um, depending on how this job interview works out, I may have to change my times around a little bit, but we'll discuss that. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Kathy. So you guys have a good night. Get lots of sleep. And may your night be as pleasant as your day. Love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.